So first thing we want to do is map our points. We have A at 3, 2. We have B at 6, 3. And then C at 7, 1. And that gives us our original triangle. We're then going to translate this first. We're going to the left by 12 units, and we're not going up or down. So we're going to take all of these and move them 12 units to the left. So A is 3, 2. We want to subtract 3 minus 12. It's going to give us negative 9. So that puts A prime at negative 9, 2. B is at 6, 3. So 6 minus 12 is negative 6. B prime is at negative 6, 3. And then C is at 7, 1. 7 minus 12 is negative 5. So C prime is at negative 5, 1. And there is A prime, B prime, C prime. Now we're going to reflect in the x-axis. A, A prime, which is negative 9, 2. Negative 9 stays the same, but the 2 changes its sign. So we get A double prime at negative 9, negative 2. B is at negative 6, 3, so B double prime is at negative 6, negative 3, because the reflection on the x-axis takes everything x, y, and maps it to x, negative y. So C prime, which is at negative 5, 1, gets mapped to C double prime, which is negative 5, negative 1. And this green is our final answer. So the image of triangle ABC after the glide reflection is triangle A double prime, B double prime, C double prime, which we see right here. All right, here's another example. This is another composition of transformations. This one's not a glide reflection, but it's still a composition because we see multiple transformations happening here. Let's see, you're told that the endpoints of RS are R at 1, negative 3, and S at 2, negative 6. I want you to graph the image of RS after the following composition. A reflection in the y-axis, and then a rotation 90 degrees about the origin. Well, let's try this. You can try it on your own if you'd like to. Just pause the video and then resume when you're ready to check your answer. Okay, R is at 1, negative 3 and s is at 2, negative 6. All right, first thing we want to do is reflect in the y-axis. A reflection in the y-axis takes your points. It leaves the y's the same, but it changes the x-coordinates. So r is going to become R prime at negative 1, negative 3, and S becomes S prime at negative 2, negative 6. That gives us the first transformation. The next is a 90 degree rotation about the origin. If you go to your note card, you should see a rotation, 90 degrees, flips our two coordinates and turns the B negative. So it takes x, y, and turns it into, or we'll use a, b notation here, a, b, and turns it into negative b, comma, a. So r, which is a negative 1, negative 3, ends up over here at r double prime of 3, negative 1. And then s, which is negative 2, 6, is going to become... Um, this r prime needs, sorry, the r prime, double prime needs to get moved up. r double prime is up here at 3, negative 1, and s prime becomes 6, double prime, 6, negative 2. And the green is the final answer.